just as I've said, today we'll be looking at merits and the merit of interdependent of nation. And before I go into that, I want to get feedback from you based on what I taught you last time as regard the meaning of interdependent of nation, those factors that give reason for interdependent of nation or interactions among states in the world. So who is going to dare tell me what is interdependent of nation? I'm not going to call now. Who is going to tell me? As you call them, right? Okay, Jessica, what is inter interdependent of nation? Um, um, interdependent of nation can be defined as the. Hmm, I like to take it. As the coming together of nations to foster unity among them. I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied. Let me go to Nifemi. Nifemi, what is interdependent of nations? Interdependent of nations we are the interactions between country among countries or states because a country cannot stand alone in isolation it needs to derive more resources from other countries you, have, you understand what it is but you are suffering from grammatical deficiencies therefore you don't know how to put your points in order hmm? understand it uh, Aisha, please turn on your video, please. Okay, prudence. Sense of nation can be defined as the um, interaction among or between states, which is facilita facilitated by the the needs of the state. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You know, in some say facilitated by the need of the state. You could remember last time when I was teaching you, I said something that why do you think I started with what you are very familiar with? Why do you think a man would decide to marry? Why do you think a woman would decide to marry? It is based on the need of individual and the coming together will be based on mutual understanding. That is, you need this, I will give it to you. I need this, you give it to me, okay? So, nations in the world interact based on their needs. Nigeria will not engage in diplomatic uh, uh, arrangement or meeting or conference or agreement with Ghana, if there's nothing Nigeria want to get from Ghana or something that Nigeria want Ghana to do to ensure peace in Africa. Okay, so the facility, based on that they are need, now that is what will take me to the next um, uh, question that I'm going to ask. What are those needs in international system that facilitates interdependent of nation, Aisha? Tell me one. I can see money. Please turn on your video to see what you are doing. Yes, Aisha, you have the floor. I I know you. Your question. What do you say? I said, the prudent has able to tell us what we did last time as regard the conceptual meaning of an interdependent of nation, as interactions among nations in the world which is facilitated by the need of those nations involved. I now ask a question that, what are those needs? What are those needs that facilitated interactions among states in the world? Tell me one.
It is well. It is well. Please, I shall brace up, okay? Anybody? Anybody? I can hear me. I'll know your question. So I'll see the question first now. He said, what are those factors that facilitate the interactions among nations in the world? Okay. What are the reasons for interdependence okay. of nations? Okay. okay. I want to ask political reasons. Why, why, why political reason? Tell me the concept of political reason as the rationale behind the interdependence of nation. Please, please, um, I, I, I challenge you, please, brace up. After my teaching, I always ask if you have question. You will not ask question. And it is somehow disgusting and discouraging for me to try to review what I have taught in the previous class and you were unable to tell me critically. I told you that political reason is benchmarked on the fact that there's need for world peace, security of lives and property, democratization of the world. And in order to achieve this, countries in the world come together to interact to devise means to actualize the global peace. And, and I said, there's an umbrella of all independent states in the world through which all nations in the world interacted to ensure that they ensure global peace, security, and the practice of democracy in the world. What is the name of that body? What's the name of that body? that serve as the umbrella of all independent states in the world, through which nations in the world interact. United Nations. United Nations. When was it established? Nineteen forty-five. Where is the capital of United Nations? Or headquarters of United Nations? Sir? Where is the headquarters of United Nations? Okay, the headquarters of United Nations is at New York City. Okay, New York City is the headquarters of uh, United Nations. So we also have a social cultural reason, we have a um, uh, uh, economic reason. And I said the social cultural reason is benchmarked on the fact that. There's need to ensure friendly relations. When countries in the world are in good terms with others, it will help them to mitigate any form of uh, uh, dis discordant uh, acts that can lead to crisis. And how do we actualize the, uh, the social cultural reason for inter interdependence of nations? And this is done through sporting activities, games, uh, uh, festivals of art and culture, among uh, other like uh, Misika competitions. During this period, people from different parts of the world interact, uh, they are, and you see, interact and you see them, they keep place and trace some sees a kind of everlasting relationship from that uh, moment. I think I told you about the uh, Mikhail will be married to a Russian woman. Okay. And I said on economic reason, the natural resources in the world has not been equally as in, as in distributed. What you have, I don't have it. What uh, Jessica have Aisha does not have it. So, and Aisha will need what Jessica has, and Jessica will need what Aisha have in order to ensure that these are evenly distributed. There's need for Aisha to interact with uh, Jessica and Jessica to interact with Aisha. So, in order for them to get from one another and balance the equation. And as a matter of fact, I said on that too, there's need, the, need, the need to create markets. Okay, for surplus products produced by some country also demand for economic reason for interdependence of nation. And at the same time, the exchange of human resources, the spread of technology among other also ensure this. 
Nigeria is a country now, we don't produce car. We don't produce some of these technological facilities. How do we get it if we don't interact with countries like uh, 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 Russia, like uh, Israel? If we need, if we, if, if we need uh, 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 what we call weapons now to fight Boko Haram, we don't produce in this country. They won't produce their local one that can shoot for once. So you need to interact with countries like uh, Israel, among others, that produce these sophisticated weapons to defeat uh, the Boko Haram. If we need car, we need to patronize uh, mischievous and uh, what is all these uh, different uh, uh, companies in the Western world to get the car. The mobile phone you are using, the laptop I'm using, they are product from other countries. And the product got to Nigeria is a sort of economic reason for interdependent of nation. Today, we'll be looking at advantages and disadvantages of interdependent of a nation. And of course, don't forget it with, advantage, with advantages without uh, disadvantages. Take note of that. There's nothing in the world with advantages without uh, disadvantages. Okay? And that, the same thing tells you that there's nobody that is absolutely what bad. You should know that. Nobody is absolutely bad. Everybody in the world has his or her own deficiencies. If you look at from the number one point I have in this place, I say interdependent of nation ensure equitable redistribution of natural resources. And if you look from the global soil regions, we see different type of soil we have in different areas. Now, different type of soil and the resources found in those areas determine what the country can produce or what the country will be able to produce. Does it mean that the country will not need what they couldn't produce? Look at it from the very end, there's a rocky land. In a rocky land, can you plant? Air prudent, can you plant? No, sir. You can't plant. Okay, then for you to survive, you need to go to a, 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 an, a, an area where there's a kind of a shifty sand and other area where they produce effectively. You can see the there where there's white uh, logo here, you see ice or glazier. These are the things that they used to produce some kind of a lump, some kind of like, like glass or this plate that you produce. If you need to produce something in that arena now, or you need product from this, you need to interact with the country. So, one of the benefits that we have derived from interdependent of nation or interactions among states in the world is, is based on the fact that the natural resources, the human resources, and other resources that have not been distributed equally are well distributed. They are redistributed as a result of what? Interactions among nations in the world. What you don't have, I get it from you because I interact with you. What I don't have, I get from because I interact with you. So that's what, that ensures the spread of the global resources to where some of these are not found in order to ensure satisfactions among the people in the global system. Aisha, do you understand that? No. If you don't understand, it means you are not with me. Tell me what you don't understand. Yes, I'm listening to you. I'm still with you. I don't understand what you said at the beginning, like. It seems you are not ready with me. When you are ready, raise your hand. I will, I will listen to you. Jessica. Huh? Do you understand what I explained as regard how interdependent of nation ensure equitable redistribution of natural resources? Yes, sir. Prudent. 
understand? Do you understand how interdependent of nations ensure equitable redistribution of natural resources? Yes, sir. I shall see with you when you are done. You raise your hand, I will listen to you. Oba Femi. So, do you understand what I had just explained about how interdependent of nations ensure equitable distribution of natural resources? Yes, sir. All right. Can you explain the next point to me? Can you explain the next point? It, read it, read it for it us. It fosters friendly relations between or among states in the world. Okay, can you explain it? Through um, those Olympic Games, it fosters relations. Just say through, just say, just say hello, listen to, just say through social cultural hmm, relations among nations in the world. Hmm? It helps to foster what friendly relations you cannot give instance and eh? the olympic game you are mentioning you are just say eg hmm? during the olympic game during yes. world cup during festival or any musical competition people from different parts of the world interact and this helps to ensure friendly relations among the individual or states in the world is that understood yes sir um, I can see Monia, are you here? Yes, How, sir. Do you understand what I have explained? Yes, sir. If you don't understand, make sure you call my attention to where you don't understand. I will be always available to yes, address you. And anybody, maybe you find something difficult here, you all have my number. Feel free to send such critical question to me. When I'm less busy, I will respond to your question. Please take note of that. All right. Uh, I can hear me. Look at Sir? the third one, the top point there. Explain it for us. It promotes global peace. Can you explain it? Um. When two countries come together or when two countries have relationship with each other, they'll be able to help each other at their different point of need. Okay. Uh, you, you have an idea, but I'm not satisfied. Let me listen to Prudence. It How promotes... It, yes. It promotes global... Peace. Okay, when um, the countries interact with each other, obviously they'll be on good terms with each other. So, like, there'll be peace and harmony between the Thank countries. You very much. Thank you very much. You remember what I taught to you about conflicts, right? I told yes, you something sir. about causes of conflicts, and I said one of the causes of conflict is what? Communication. Hmm? Lack of communication. The suspicion that usually arises as a result of lack of communication among nations, usually re get removed. Hmm? They are usually removed because of the fact that the nation meets either at national, at, at international level, or at a continental level, or at regional level. At international level, they will meet in the United Nations. They will interact at the continental level, like in Africa. They will meet under African Union. At regional level, like in West Africa, they will meet under ECOWAS. In the course of interactions, any form of thing that can cause a kind of disagreement will be ironed out, thereby promote global peace. I think there's not a thing difficult about that. Now, another one is that if you look at it here, you will see that it's helped to spread technical knowledge. When I say spread technical knowledge, I say something at the right time that as a, as a country here, we are not technologically inclined, okay? But most those countries that are technologically inclined, in most cases, 
we send our national to this country to go and learn. Just that in case of Nigeria, when some, when they might have acquired the knowledge, they don't come back. Because the country, they feel that there's no hope in the country and they will be what? Deceived. Africans, we are well inclined, especially Nigerians, we have the brain. The best brain in the world, one way or the other, will be taken by those Western nations. Forget about the fact that they say they are whites. They, they also know that we have the brain. So if you look at what I have here, those that are making vehicle, do you think that if Nigeria want to be making vehicle, will I be making, making our vehicle now? But we don't believe in debt. We always believe in importation. You will see that under the disadvantages of interdependent of nation. And I will explain some concept of globalization, whereby there's a theory in the globalization that says, if you produce a pen and it costs you 20 naira, and I will produce it, it costs me 10 naira. You don't need to produce it. You will have to what? Consume it for me because I can produce, it, produce such at lesser price. And when you become a consumer, any country that consume more than what such a country exports, that country will not develop. The economists in their home, the commercial students should understand what I'm saying. When you're Importation is more than your exportation. You can't develop. Forget about it. You will get more. To, you get to know more about it. So, as a result of interactions among states in the world, those countries that are technologically inclined, they get some kind of, as in, they spread their technological expertise to other parts of the world, either by establishing firms there, or by getting some a kind of exchange in time of uh, human being from the countries that are technologically declined to their country to learn how to make some of these things. In Nigeria, we assemble car, but we don't produce car. Okay? Even that assemb assemblance we have been doing is based on some kind of uh, interdependent of nation that we're able to do those things. Refinery. We have refinery in Nigeria, but our refineries, they are not working to the full capacity. Even, none of them is even working as I'm talking to you now. We refine our oil somewhere. But the refinery were built based, based on our interactions among the other, as in based on our interaction with uh, the technologically inclined states in the world. So when we interact with other states in the world, it helps to spread technological knowledge in terms of how to be how to be able to produce something in the technol in, in the technological field, either in the mechanical engineering civil engineering among uh, others. I say it ensures creation of jobs. Who can explain that? Look at what I have there. Let, let Jessica explain that for me. Aisha will listen to you and see your hand. Jessica, explain this for me. It ensures creation of jobs globally. Um. Like now, mm. between two countries, a particular country has just um, built a factory, mm. and the other country, they don't have the factory. Mm. So now, um, they will now sit down together and think of what to do and try to bring people from the other country to join there so that they will help them, thereby giving jobs. Keep people from the other country. All right, thank you. I yeah. get, I get the idea you are trying to pass across. I get the idea you are trying to pass across. Let me listen to Aisha. I want to explain. Okay. Yes, I'm with you. It um, ensures creation of jobs globally. Like what you said that um, that the cars that from poorer countries where they do not to learn to operate cars or fix cars or yeah. create cars, they um, recruit them from the country to go and learn, which helps them to have a job later on after learning. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hmm? By the time they acquire the knowledge, they will be gainfully employed. And aside that, if you look at the graph I have here, you see sales. Hmm? You see higher and you see it. You see, you see demand. You see sales. Higher and you see money to spend. When, for instance, now, most of what I said was this thing the other time. Some of the things you use, they are not produced in this country. 
when you demand those material, maybe the gown you want to wear, maybe the uh, wristwatch, any, anything of, at all that you want to put on, you demand for it. And such cannot be, such is not available here, and it can be available maybe in Germany, in Italy, in France. France, once France noticed that the demand in Nigeria is somehow uh, different from other parts of the world, France will want to have some people in this country that will help. Eh? They, will, they will bring them in. They will bring that, ah, this, this country is a country where we can have a market. But that will bring our product in mass. Who, they will, as in somebody will help us to sell it very fast and they will be able to make more income. And those people they want to have in this place now, that will help them to get the product from another country, they, they, would they get a job or not? They will. Because one way or the other, you have engaged them. Understand? You hire them. So they will help you to spread the product. They will help you to advertise the product here. And even those that are not aware of the product will be aware of it. You might have gotten it online. But those that are not aware of it, they will soon get to know about it because we now have a representative of uh, that company in Nigeria. That is that in that perspective. And aside that, we have, I mean, how many of you know that the, 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 the petrol station like Tota, like Chevron, you call it Tota. Hmm? It's called Tota. And if you look at it, when you get to that station, hmm, you will see Bonju. What does that tell you? Is that? What does that tell you, uh, Jessica? When you see that? Bonju, what do, when you see to Tafli station, you see Bonju, what, do, what does it tell you? Welcome. Yeah, which country owns that? Which country, the, nation, the person that owns the country from all the police station yes. come from which country? France, okay? Chevron, um, to, uh, among others. They come, those people, because of the interdependence of nations, they come from their country. The nationals of those countries come to our country. They establish this OFM. And is it, is, those, con, those uh, police station, do we have only, only uh, French national working in that place? Do we have Nigerian working there? Yes. Yes, we have Nigerian there. Go to the, you can never see a French person working in that place in most cases. The other them, they are Nigerians working in those areas. So, as a result of interdependence of nations, jobs have been created globally. Even the, the, the United Nations creates jobs for people. African Union creates jobs. ECOWAS creates jobs on a yearly basis. If there has not been interdependence of nations, those jobs created by the multinationals, multinational corporations, wouldn't have been created. I think that is well understood. Can you see something there? I want Prudent to explain this for me. Sir, which explain one? Explain the next point for me. Explain it. Okay, it ensures, okay, it facilitates the exchange of cultural values and artifacts. Okay, okay. When, when there's interaction among nations, Obviously, they'll, they'll be meeting together and like they'll be visiting. So they'll they'll learn their they'll learn their cultures. Like they'll they'll know more about individual the, the nation. culture. Hmm? Yes. Individual culture. For instance, now if Aisha should be well acquainted with somebody from Delta State now, especially from maybe Irubo, is a Kiri or one way or the other, Aisha will like something in their ways of life. As a matter of fact, you that have been in Yoruba land now, I know you will have picked one or two things you like in Yoruba land. Am I saying the truth? Yes, sir. Okay. The same thing happened in the international system. If you look at the image I display here, you will see a white man. The, ma the, woman, the man on native happened to be a white man. Put on what? Eh? Agbada Abi. Call it Agbada in Yoruba. This dress is not for the white men. It's for, Yor it's for the what? The Yorubas. That's as a result of what? Cultural exchange. Then you see another man there putting on suits and the lady putting on a, a wedding gown. For your information, putting on wedding gown is not part of our culture. Putting on suits is not part of our culture. It's a result of interdependence of nation. The, the, the suit is a, is, is a Western culture. The white gown we put on is a Western culture. It's not part of our culture. But we have been able to exchange this cultural heritage or artifact because of a uh, cultural reason or cultural reason of an uh, interdependent of a uh, nation. It's an, it's, 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 a, it's an advantage, it's a merit. But as a matter of fact, no culture in the world, there's no race in the world that is 100%. 
by the time you harness other ways of life and use the good aspect of their own life, add it to your own, you become what? The best. Don't think you are the best. Okay? Then look at this. He said to ensure economic development. Now, I will explain this myself. And I want the, those, that of it, those of you that are commercial students here to assist me in the explanation. I, I want you to listen very well. I said to ensure economic development in the world. How? If you look at the world today, all those multinational companies, have you been taught multinational corporation, uh, Jessica? Stop. Have you been taught multinational corporation in, in your other economics or in commerce? No. Okay. When I say multinational corporation, hmm, they are uh, companies owned by nationals of other countries, that is citizens of other country. Now, we have other people from other country that come to Nigeria, for instance, to come and establish companies. I told you about Chevron. I told you about Tuta. Understand? Are they paying taxes or not? Nifemi. Sir? Are those companies paying, are those multinational companies in Nigeria paying taxes or not? Yeah, paying taxes. So, how do you think the taxes they pay will facilitate development in Nigeria? Is it going to be a negative or positive to the development in Nigeria? Fast two question response. Positive, sir. Positive. I'm talking like a big man. Hmm? I know you. I know you're a big man, but this is a class. Let us be smart. Okay. Uh, I can say more. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay. What I'm saying is this: is that as a result of a, a kind of exchange of other company technology from one country to another, it will help to develop individual country involved. As a matter of fact, I will explain something to you under disadvantages. Normally, any relationship among states in the world should be based on mutual understanding and mutual benefits. When I say mutual benefits, you, you benefit from it, I benefit from it. Not that you benefit and I suffer. Okay? The country that come to Nigeria to come and sell a vehicle, we pay money to Nigerian Nigerian government. That country, to the national that come to Nigeria, will also get benefit from what he has sold. In that case, interdependent of nation helps individual country that have involved in the interaction. Hmm? But in quotes, that interaction that have been based on mutual benefit, it will ensure economic development in the countries that are involved. But that has not been the case in most of the countries, especially in the third world countries. When I say third world countries, I mean country in the southern hemisphere. Countries that are struggling to survive. Countries that, are, that depend on Western nations in order for them to get rest part of life. Now, the merit of interdependence of nations. Just as I said before, there's nothing with merit without demerit. One of the demerits is that it's interdependence of nations encourages economic dependency of poor nations on the rich ones. If you know, okay. Yes, Aisha. Like, when poor countries like in Nigeria, when they get help from other nations, and like when the other nations are helping them, they learn to depend on the other nations and they don't God, want to God bless use their own skills. God bless you. God bless you. Since they are, we get help from other country, we no want to. That is like a, it's like a, 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 a child that always get money from the father. That is why I love some father. I have a parent even in our school, who was telling me that one should go and learn how to make something. They have everything. Eh? These parents, they have everything. But the first, during summer school, they usually have, the child, one, one of them know how to mend you. Okay? You, the mother said, Yo, you must learn something. You must not depend on us. So the same thing applies. Same thing applied to 
all dark countries in the world because you get help from this, you now relax. Yes, after us, when I need, they will get something. Look at what is happening now to us now. Coronavirus, we are, we are crying to the IMF, we are crying to this, we are crying to G8 for them, for them to support us. If we have put our house in order, USA is a country like us. USA was colonized by Britain. Nigeria was colonized by Britain. Today, USA is, in fact, is the foreigner in the world. Okay? Why can't we also put ourselves in that arena? But we have been depending on what comes from the tables of all these Western nations. So that is a disadvantage because there's interaction, there will not be this, and after us, anything we need, we'll surely get it. When we need money, they'll borrow us. And the money they borrow you, they are making it to be what? To be a stooge. They are using it to retard your development. It said it's key initiative for innovation of states, especially developing countries. Okay. I shall you excited. Let me see who is where the noise is coming from here. I shall let me listen to Akinche Moin. Fatia. Sir? It said interdependent of nations is a disadvantage. Kill initiative and innovation of states, especially developing countries. Can you explain that? Is there some relationship with um, number one? Like, um, like developing countries, sir? Continue, continue. Sir? Continue. Who is that person? Let me trade this where the nurse is. It's like... It's cute, like um, developing countries like Nigeria now, like um, you know, when when the developed countries like they have all the ideas, like most of the ideas, and um, like the developing countries don't really have yeah, much yeah, ideas like that. Mm. So. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Akin Simoin. Thank you, Akin Simoin. Thank you, Akin Simoin. Let me listen to Aisha. Yes, Aisha. Like in developing countries, like when the similarity between like the similarity between one and two, when they depend on the developed countries, they don't want to use their own edge to create new ideas. They want to wait for the Western countries to create their own ideas for them to use, so oh, them to yes, create yeah. their own. Aisha has impressed me today. You know, you know when you impress me, I will say it. Aisha has impressed me today. If you don't have money, eh, you will think, Abi, how am I going to get money? But every time when you need money, that is say collect, take. When you need this, that is say take. Mommy say take. You will not think. But in fact, it takes hardship to be very wise. It takes difficulty situation for you to devise means to liberate yourself. But because the fact that there's in the interdependent of nation, if we need canal, we import it. Look at what happened recently. Let, I will explain this because of what happened recently. Coronavirus is a global pandemic. And it prevents the rich in the developing countries to run away from their country to another country, right? The dilapidated head sector, they left in the country when they always run abroad to, for medical checkup. It is the same medical sector they come and meet. But I think this coronavirus is supposed to teach our political leader common sense, why they must put their home in order. Because now they couldn't run abroad for medical attention. It is home that they need to work to get the necessary medical attention there. And the home, they have spoiled the home. So when you get everything you need somewhere, in most cases, it doesn't make you to think, doesn't he give you opportunity to what? To, 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 to the device means to liberate yourself. You see this advantage. And, as, and here I'd say it encourage neocolonialism and imperialism. Some of you may not understand this very well. Yes, thank you very much, uh, students. Okay, it encourages neocolonialism and imperialism. Okay, when the the nations, the um, developing nations are depending too much on those ones that are already developed, then it might, it might get to the point that those developed ones, they want to be extending their culture to... Culture, the economic, 
political everything they will be what impose it on they are not coming directly that's what we call neo colonialism neo colonialism serves as a modern form of colonialism and how does this happen neo colonialism will come in form of imposing the political will of a state on another something happened during the Gulo Jonathan era that is why i give kudu to that man when he signed the B against sex, uh, sex, uh, same sex marriage. Hmm? Jonathan signed the B against same sex marriage. Country like Canada and other Western powers, they said, no, Jonathan must not sign that B. That is, it's, an, it's an infringement on fundamental human rights, according to them. Jonathan said, this is Nigeria. Our culture kicking against a man marrying a man, a woman marrying a man. You cannot happen in Nigeria. Okay? You, 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 can, you can see. So, why are they saying that? Why are they dictating to us? Because whenever we need help, we, they only give it to us. They are not trying to what assert their own dominance on us. So when you when there's interdependence of nation and come some countries, like developing countries depend on the world powers. Those powers that they depend on in most cases, one way or the other, we use that privilege to enforce their own ways of life upon the country. They will not come directly. You will, have, you will still have your president as a person from your country, but they will be the one removing the brain of your president. In terms of imperialism, they will use the multinational companies owned by those by their country to control their, your economy. They will dictate what you are producing. They will dictate what you are going to sell. Okay. So it's a disadvantage. It gives room for New colonialism and imperialism, where the economic and political power in within a state will be controlled by the powers that one way or the other the developing country depends on. Oh, so very close to this. There are some here you will see. Okay, I said it makes some countries dumping ground of dangerous waste products. You will see some use, useless television here. Eh? Keyboard. In this part of the world, do you know what we do? You see us, most of us will buy fairly used products. Fairly used products. They, they, don't, they don't buy what we have used. We are the one buy what they have used. Sorry. Sorry. So, in, in, in the press of doing that, in the process of trying to buy the fairly used product, they know us that whatever they have used, they can always bring it. They can always jump, take it to our own country. Hence, making the countries, especially the third world countries, that is the country in the southern hemisphere, to be a dumping ground of waste product in those countries. What is useless in their country, they will bring it to our country, to especially the developing country, for sale. And they will still sell it. I'm telling you, they will still sell it. It can't happen in their country, but they will bring it to our country because we are consumers. It's a disadvantage of uh, interdependence of nation. It encourages brain drain. If you see the graphic design, the pie chart I have here, you see in 1990, 2000, 2015, how some people move from one part of the world to another part of the world, especially in uh, Africa, okay? When I say brain drain, if you, if, if you are being acquainted with what is happening in the world now, you find out that Western nations like Canada, when you are skilled, technically inclined, they give you visa, you come to their country. If you want to go to Western world, you want to go to USA, you want to go to Britain, you want to go to Canada, you want to go to this, they don't give visa to door brain. They don't give visa to somebody who does not have anything to offer. They give visa to a person that will help to revamp and change their country positively. Now, if they will give visa to the best brain in Nigeria to come to their country, what is happening to Nigeria? Eh? That is, the brain that's supposed to develop Nigeria. Okay. Yes, Aisha, what, is, what will happen to Nigeria? Um, like the, the people that have big brain, like sense, they'll go to another country and develop other countries that will not develop Nigeria. Thank you very and Nigeria much. will remain stagnant. Thank you very much. So they, they, they welcome the best individual from other parts of the world. And most, in fact, as a matter of fact, we study history. 
the first man to the first surgeon eh, to operate on heart in USA happened to be an African. Hmm? So this one way or the other deprived this part of the world because of the sort, because of interdependent of nation, the borderless company a country whereby you can migrate from one place to another, you leave your country to another country in order for you to get a what? A better job. Of course, in the con this country now, where there's no hope, you can even be a best brain in this country. You'll be neglected if you don't have political connection. And now, that person applied, and in maybe in Canada, they will accept the person. Once they see that this person has something else there, the person will be taken away from Nigeria. That is minus one to the best brain that, can, that will develop the country. So that is how it's, it's a disadvantage. They say it creates social problems like prostitution, disease, drug trafficking, half naked dressing. I will start from the disease. <laughs> I shall you are laughing. Yes, I will start from disease. Coronavirus is from which country? China. China. Assuming there's no interdependent of nation, will you, are we going to get coronavirus in Nigeria? No, sir. No, that is a disadvantage. One, one of the disadvantages of an uh, interdependent of nation. We are suffering from coronavirus now. Our economy has been battered because of the problems associated with the interdependent of a uh, nation. What about prostitution? We have different specialized grade of prostitutes in the country. Even some of our nationals traveling to other countries to go and be engaged in prostitution. Most Nigerians see them, they travel to Italy, they'll be sleeping with the dog. You see some of them now dressing. You see the dress I, I, I showcase here. Does it show that these people are, are responsible individuals? Are they, does it, what they have put on, does it show that they are responsible? Do you think that this part of, this kind of clothes, they are made here in Africa? They borrow this idea through social cultural interactions among nations in the world. Some of these clothes, they are worn in inner, uh, for inner use. Some of them actually, you know, you know, in the Western world, they don't believe in some things. Uh, nudity is not, it's not to some of them. And we have, as a result of our interaction with them, we have incorporated the bad culture into our own culture. Now, you see people, they say this one's uh, raping, this, this one's doing that. Most of these things are a result of the way some people dress. I am not trying to encourage uh, uh, the rapists. Okay, but it is always good to dress with, uh, dress in a manner in which people will look at you as if you are a responsible person. A person that dressed like this now, going on the streets, what are you telling the people? You say you are selling a bee. Some people don't have money to buy the what you are selling legally. They will want to use force to get it, and that is rape. It's a disadvantage of interdependent of nation. The last one there, who is explaining the last one there for me? I even agree with what I have said about the, this, uh, this the last one. Oh, say my internet is not stable. Okay, Aisha. Like now, when, when um, like, developed countries want to help Nigeria. Like they take some of our resources that like you put on now. Like they exploit from us indirectly by um we oh, what is English? By by start fixing the oil in our when, countries. Thank you. Be, thank you. They exploit us yeah, like what you just mentioned. They refine our crude oil for us. Our refineries are not working. I as a matter of fact let me tell technically they are behind the reason our our refineries are not working. And because of our leaders, I'm sorry, our leaders, they don't apply common sense. They have made the refinery to be working. And because of some bad individual, they believe that by the time they take, if the, if the refineries are working, they will not have opportunity to dupe us in some aspect. But if they should take the crude oil outside for refining, bringing it to Nigeria, they can use, they can manipulate something. But they have also forgotten that taking the crude oil outside the country, give more benefit to the country where the, refinery, where the crude oils have been refined. In crude oil, there are other products, bitumen, kerosene, gas, and every other thing. When we take them there, we only come back with what? 
petroleum. In most cases, why do we have scarcity of uh, kerosene in Nigeria? When kerosene and then uh, diesel, among others, petrol, they are produced together. Okay, so it's a result of the fact that the Western powers, they have extracted, this is what they did, they have taken away some for their own. Yet they still collect, they still collected money for what they have, what they have refined for us. And they bring it back to us, we will not be saying that the landing cost or the petroleum cannot make us to sell their petroleum at the rate of uh, 90 something era or this and that. We, how, how are we going to have something and we'll still be paying more money on it? It's a result of exploitation. Those countries refine for us, they are benefiting. Even the products we import, they are benefiting from us. We are paying heavily, but they, they are enjoying from what we are paying. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, as much as a man with one leg, listen to me, listen to what I'm going to I'm saying here. As a matter of fact, as much as a man with one leg cannot compete with a man with two legs, the same way developing countries cannot compete with developed countries. That is, countries in the South cannot compete with the country in the Northern Hemisphere, whereby their achievement or the benefit to be mutual. No, it's not possible. The relationship between Nigeria and USA is like a servant and master relationship. Because when you pair USA and Nigeria at all level, we find that Nigeria is not equal. So somebody will be benefiting from the relationship. Why somebody would what will be suffering from the relationship? This is a sort of some of the disadvantage as in associated with uh, the concept of interdependent of nation. And that was what, what, what brought the point that I said that it leads to exploitation. They will exploit you. They will dictate. They give you money, they borrow you money, but the money they borrow you, the money you are going to use to service the debt be more than what you have borrowed. Is that no exploitation? I am not trying to kick against the fact that there should not, there should, maybe there should not be globalization or interdependent of nature. They should, but it should be based on mutual respect, understanding, and benefit, just as every human relationship, like husband and wife, should, is based on what? Mutual benefit and understanding. The same way, interdependent of nations should be based on mutual understanding and respect. That is the end of the class for today as regards interdependent of nations. If you have questions, let me hear from you. Question time. Okay, Manuel. Yes. If we go back to school, hmm. say you do this thing again, this development of political parties, in Nigeria again. Sure. It's very sure. Oh. I will still go. I will still go. I understand. See, I understand the fact that there are them. Yeah. Okay. We we'll do that. My I mean, good news. I heard that they have found a vaccine that will make the regime soon. Yeah, the, th the truth is that. The vaccine that they have found as it, it must be confirmed by the WHO. This is one of the problems I'm seeing here. Look at this now, a sort of interdependent of nation. Madagascar said they have produced a local house. Just because they don't want the solution from coronavirus to come from Africa, they said there has not been what any solution to coronavirus. That they had there's nothing to prove that they'll the local hub produced by Madagascar uh, Republic is, is useful. Is this. But assuming it comes from Western nations, they will prove it that it's working. They don't believe that Africa, there's anything good in Africa. Understand? This is one of the disadvantages of interdependent of nations. If it's not, why? If I can, if there's a problem and I can, pro I can make provision, I can solve the problem within my country. What is your business that you need to confirm what I have used to heal a virus or a disease in my country? It's a disadvantage of this is so-called interdependent of national globalization. Okay? Uh, I don't see reason why we should not go back to our new and devise means 
to resolve the problem of coronavirus. So forget about all this white medicine. We can actually devise missile to, to solve the problem of coronavirus. But because our psyche has been what? Engrossed by the Western powers, where everything is, hmm, they come, they give you money, they give you one billion, they give you 10 naira, they give you this. And because of what they have given to you, that has made us to always dance into their tunes without having common sense. They God help us. <laughs> so, any other question? Any other? Okay. Aisha has a question. Aisha, what is your question? Mr. Man, have you heard from Bolu? Like, she'll not be attending any class. So that she can have something to make use of while she's at home. That's what I've done. Then, Karamat. Yeah. Who oh, asked about uh, her since she was strong, right? How is she now? She's still sick. She's still wow. sick. Okay, She's go, still sick. Go, we heal her. Good morning, ask me a question. Ask me a question. I can see money. So I don't have a question. Okay. Ni fe me question. Ni fe me ask me question. Yes, sir. No. My chinko gay, ask me a question. Sir. Okay, don't have a question. Okay. Since there's no question from any one of you, I believe you have understood everything has gone interdependent of nation. Next week, we'll go to Nigerian foreign policy. Okay? So, prepare very well for that topic. It's a, work, uh, a, to it's a topic that wife usually ask questions every year. So, when we get there, we'll cross the beach. Thank you very much, and God bless you.